All right, my name is Christian Gutierrez, and today I will be talking about Juan Ponce de Leon and why should their statue should still stand today and why he's important today. The biography I read about Juan Ponce de Leon is Juan Ponce de Leon by Frederick Albert Uber, and it's right here. Juan Ponte de Leon was born in 1474 in Santerva de Campos, Spain. De Leon had a total of six siblings and they were all also well known. He had two brothers and four sisters. One was Luis Ponte de Leon, Pedro Ponte de Leon, Elena Ponte de Leon, Catalina Ponte de Leon, Maria Ponte de Leon, and Teresa Ponte de Leon. Juan Ponte de Leon later on married a woman named Leonor Enem. They had a total of four children three girls and one boy. The boy was Juan Ponte de Leon, named after Juan Ponte de Leon too. And then Isabella Ponte de Leon, Maria Ponte de Leon, and Luis Ponte de Leon. In the early 1500s, Juan Ponte de Leon was a top military official in the colonial government of Hispaniola, which, which is in the Caribbean Sea. Juan Ponce helped crush a rebellion of the native Chano people there in Hispaniola. Juan Ponce was also a soldier fighting in the Spanish campaign against the Moors in Granada, and after that war, he went on long end voyage led by Christopher Columbus that headed to the West Indies before Juan Ponce was a military official in the colonial government of Hispaniola. The voyage was led by Christopher Columbus in 1493. When they conquested Cuba, Juan Ponce de Leon was a soldier, soldier of fortune. Apparently, Juan had nothing with him but just his sword. On page 33 in my biography, it talked about Moors and Granada. And it said, Juan Ponce de Leon, who needless to say, perhaps the actual subject of the biography, was also engaged in the wars against Moors of Granada, but in the humble capacity with the illustration exemplar. Also, in my book, it talked about Christopher Columbus and how they headed to the, the West Indies on page 57 in my biography and said, Juan Ponte de Leon came to Hispaniola with Columbus in 1493 or with Avando in 1502. It also talked about how Juan Ponce de Leon was a soldier of fortune and how he had nothing but just his sword on page 62 in my biography. And it said, Juan Ponce was at the time merely a soldier of fortune apparently with no other wealth than his sword and what is brought him. Juan Ponte de Leon was a Spanish explorer and explored many places and even discovered places in fit places. In 1508 through 1509, he explored and settled Puerto Rico, founding the colony's oldest settlement, Caparo near what is now known as San Juan. And that was talked in my biography on page one. And it said, but the former achieved a still wider celebrity by linking his name with the discovery of Florida and the search of the Fountain of Youth. In April 1513, Juan Ponte de Leon led the first known European expedition to La Florida, which he named during his first voyage to the era. He landed on the coast of Florida at a site between St. Augustine and Melbourne Beach, then charged the Atlantic coast down to Florida Keys and north along the Gulf. Coast, perhaps as far as Charlotte Harbor. Ponte de Leon was supposedly searching for the Fountain of Youth when he traveled to Florida in 1513. Legends has it that Ponte de Leon was told by the natives American that the Fountain of Youth was in Beanie. He named the region Florida because it was discovered at Easter time. I said in my biography right here on page one as well, it said, that was the latter with the more distinguished in the land of birth and bravery, military skills, but the former achieved a wider celebrity by linking his name with the discovery of Florida and the search of the fountain of youth. And right here in this picture is a picture of Florida in today's time, of course. Juan Ponte de Leon was a great favorite with King Ferdinand and his concert. Juan Ponte was present at the conference between Sovereigns and Columbus and so was Rodrigo, his brother, as it talked about in my biography on page 35. As it said, Juan, like Rodrigo, was present at the conference between the sovereigns and the Columbus. 
Juan Ponce went to Granada and after leaving, he disappeared for a few years and was later found on after around 10 years, as I also talked about in my biography on page 35. And it says, Juan Ponce, Juan Ponce disappears after leaving Granada and quite 10 years elapsed before he clearly appears against a background of events important in themselves. Juan Ponce de Leon was also a captain. He went to Española or Santo Domingo. And it also talks about it in my biography on page 36. And it says, Juan Ponce de Leon went to Española or Santo Domingo as a captain, that he was a man well-born and Hidalgo. Right here it says, in Espanol, Juan Ponte de Leon served as a soldier, and from being a soldier, he received the command, and that's what his, what first brought him his prominence and the impulse toward his career, which brought him fame, as I also talked in my biography on page 49. And it says right here, These things did Orlando with him in the Espanol. Juan Ponce de Leon served as a soldier from whom he received the command the, that first brought him prominence and the impulse to worthy career that placed him in a temple of fame. Juan had the one accommodation of governor, and he had, he had won it while he was in Santo Domingo, and this was also talked in my book on page 56 as well. And right here it says, Juan Ponce was in Santo Domingo at the time, in the island, if not in the city, and had one commendation of governor. Juan Ponce de Leon went to an island that is today, today known as Puerto Rico. While being on that island, Juan found gold making himself very rich. And here's a picture of gold, and here's Juan Ponce de Leon's statue that is located today in Florida. Then here in this picture is Fort, here at Florida, Juan Ponce de Leon statue, which looks very nice. And I believe Juan Ponce de Leon should still be remembered today as his statue should stand today because he's done a lot of things for this country that should be remembered. For instance, one, he's the founder of Florida. Two, was a soldier that fought. Founder of Fountain Youth. Was a captain. One commendation of governor. Was a Spanish explorer led the first European expedition. Those are many important things that Juan Ponce de Leon that has, has done to this country that should always be remembered. For instance, Florida. It's one of our state, or one of our 50th states that we have here in the United States. Thank you for your time and for watching this video.